Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to insert your uh, table contents seamlessly. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to uh, program our headings up here. Okay, so we have a heading ones and heading headings two. So our heading one, we're going to go over here and click heading one. If you notice, the font change color, size, uh, the type and everything. So what we're going to do, we're going to highlight that and we're going to make a right click and we're going to modify our heading one. So we want it to be Times New Roman, size, a uh, font size 12, the color we want it to be automatic, we definitely don't want bold and we want it to be centered. After we make our, our changes, we're going to click OK. And we're going to go along our paper and do the same thing. So here's another heading one. We're just going to select that and click heading one. Since we already made the changes uh, to heading one, all we have to do for this one is just highlight and program to heading one. Now we have heading two right here. So we're going to click heading two. But if you notice also it changed the font, it changed the color, changed the size, the type. So we're going to modify heading two as well and we're going to make it exactly the way we want it. We want it Times New Roman, we want it the size to be 12, non-bold, color automatic, and we want it to be centered and of course underlined. So we're going to click OK and we have officially programmed heading 2. So we're going to go along our paper and we're going to do the same thing. If you want heading 3 you can program it, but in Turebian I don't think it's uh, required to add heading 3 in your table of contents. So as of right now with this paper sample, uh, with the sample paper, <laughs> I'm going to just program heading 1 and heading 2. So here, highlight, click heading 1, and this one highlights. I already programmed heading 1 and heading 2, so I'm going to program it to heading 2. This is another heading 2, so highlight and click. And then here's heading one, so highlight and click heading one. This would be heading two, highlight and click, highlight and click heading two. All right, and then highlight and click heading one. After I'm done doing my changes, I'm gonna go up here, and I notice I don't have page numbers. I really need my page numbers. Uh, to add my table of contents. All right, so I am going to add my my page numbers. This is this will be a different tutorial. <coughs> I'm gonna do it real quick right now. All right. And all right. All right. Okay, I have officially added my numbers. So now that I have changed and programmed my heading one and heading two, and I have added my page numbers, okay, finally I'm gonna go to table contents right here. I'm gonna place my cursor exactly where I want to insert my table of contents, and then I'm going to go to references. I'm going to click on table of contents, all right? And then I'm going to scroll down to insert table of contents right over here. And as you can see, I'm having some technical difficulties. The computer is a little slow today. All right, so let's just wait until this thing works. All right, finally, here it is. So I'm going to click insert table of contents. Alright, here this window will pop up and I'm going to make some changes to this. I'm going to unselect hyperlinks, I don't want to use hyperlinks. Instead of a, for a template from the format, I'm going to click distinctive. Uh, I'm going to change the tab layer back to dot dot dot. I want to use dots, not lines. And levels, I only want to show two levels because it's the required, um, the required format for Turabian. After I'm done selecting all this, I'm going to click OK. If you notice, my table content has beautifully added seamlessly to my paper. Now, if you notice, the font is not matching or the size. Uh, so I'm going to select my, 
my table contents and I'm going to change um, to match mm, the rest of my paper. So I'm going to change the font again to Times New Roman. I'm going to unselect bold and I'm going to unselect the italics. And then my table contents will be done. Um, again, I'm having some technical difficulties. Uh, the system is not responding. We're just going to wait a couple of seconds till it works and we'll be good to go. Okay, finally, I'm going to change Times New Roman, 12, take the bold. Okay, I have to, sorry guys, I have to highlight the whole table of contents and then do my changes. Times New Roman, 12, and okay, perfect. It's not bold, it's not italics, is it? No, it's not. That's bold. Okay, so there it is. We have a beautiful table of contents. The pagination is appropriate. The setup is appropriate. And there you have it. So remember to always program your, um, your table of contents and your headings. So you guys have a good day. If you have any 